Hello, it's What If. Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder 2003. Race 16 of 36. It's Sonoma, Infineon, Save Mart, 350. Uh, paint scheme, this is where we're going with. It looks nice. Green, uh, or well, uh, the grass is used to be green here. But then it's not. This track maybe this track in in these games gaslighted me into thinking that that the off surface area was dirt. When it's not, and the game acts like it's dirt, so it kind of actually kind of annoys me now. But we're, it's a yellow car, and the grass can kind of be interpreted as yellow looking ish. So point situation, we're fine. We probably will extend our point lead. By how much, I don't know. But we're gonna need that because I don't know what Daytona, Chicago Land, or New Hampshire is gonna be like. So those are big question marks. So it's important to really just try hard it out right now, and that's what we're gonna do. Before we jump into it, thank you to my tier 2 Patreon people, as well as my YouTube members for our channel, first get our early access videos, as well as channel emotes and stuff for my stream. I appreciate that, that does help me out a ton, that is still a secondary income of sorts, sorts for me, so I appreciate the help. Thank you, let's get into Sonoma, Infineon, I keep mixing the two up, and uh, let's just see what we can do. Car setup, well, there really isn't any, it's just all default, so uh, don't have to worry about that, it's just neutral. And that's it. We'll have everyone take it away. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing is in the Sonoma Valley today. MRN is live with flag-to-flag -flag coverage of today's Dodge Save Mart 350 from the Infineon Raceway. This course should present quite a challenge to these drivers. Wouldn't you agree, Barney? Well, these guys only run on road courses twice a year, which means they don't spend much time tuning for them. There is a good chance we'll see a new face in victory lane at the end of this one. Scott Wemmer is towards the bottom of the points list this season. Yeah, those guys have been working so hard this year. It's a shame it doesn't really show in points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. Maybe their luck will change today. How about the consistency shown by Ryan Newman? Well, points, points, points. Wins are great when they come, but top 10 finishes week after week are what build your points. Heck, you could win the championship on top 10s alone if you're consistent. Kurt Busch can't seem to find the right setups for his qualifying runs this year. Yeah, that can really be a huge letdown for your self-confidence as a driver. You know you're a good driver, you have a strong car, but it just seems that nothing ever goes your way in qualifying. Makes it tougher to focus on the job at hand come race day. For the land of the free and the home of the Alrighty, we got Mark Martin Stewart on the front row. I saw Kevin Harvick in alternate scheme, so that's always neat to, to, to witness. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. So, first off, uh, we're going to try to pass Wardburn here. Try to get, a, like, a car length out of going into turn one. It's not going to happen. You know, it's okay. It's okay. You know, just pass them all going up the hill. That's, like, one of our biggest strats. It's kind of the same kind of logic in, like, Thunder 04. Because that's just... A real easy way to gain, what, 16 spots, 17 spots, 18 spots. The AI shockingly aren't really fast around this track, and it kind of upsets me. Bobby Labai did some wheelies there, but... Yeah, they're not really that fast. It's more or less just getting up through the field and trying to not cause too many problems. And also their braking zones, my lord. That was just... It's just despicable how... I could just outbreak them by such monumental margins. Weirdly enough, in my practice runs, I never really had the AI wreck. I was foretold the AI would wreck a lot. But I've been kind of lucky with that not occurring. So, yeah, just trying to be careful. Uh, the, the last corner is always a bit tricky. I thought someone blew up. I thought I saw smoke, but that's just my old eyes. That was a tonk. I heard that. <laughs> I definitely heard that. So in, in the first lap, we'll go from 43rd to about 13th. So uh, 30 spots. Yeah, uh, that's that's very good. I don't, I'm no mathematician, but those are some disgustingly good numbers. Also, Robbie Gorin just almost tried to pass me there. No, no, I'm the road course ace, not you this time. He heard me. 
Oh, he's, he's hearing me still. He's like, he's still trying to prove his point. We're just gonna chop him off there. Oh, he gave me a bump! Oh, ooh! Ooh, I saw that. That was mean. We'll get the inside of Jeff Green. And a little, little, little whoopsie doodle contact with, with Craven, but we're P11. Didn't take us too long to get to Harvick for the top 10 spot. Jeff Gordon having a good day, which is nice to see because he needs to be very concerned with me. Considering just how many spots I gained in that one lap. That This lap wasn't nearly as much. I don't know what... I, was, I didn't know what Mayfield was going to do. With Thunder 04, the AI kind of gets squirrely there, so you really can't go side by side. But in this game, you sort of can, which is interesting. So I'm not really sure when the AI are going to pit. I'm going to try to pit maybe around lap 6. But it's getting progressively harder to get through the field. It's not as easy. I think it's because the field's more spread out, so they're not able to take the corners that or break really early like before. So it's been kind of making it a little bit easier. Also, props to Shauna Robinson just effortlessly running in the top 10. Good run for her. Wow, me and Mayfield just outbroke me. <laughs> Damn. And there's... Oh, okay, we're, okay, we officially got by Shauna Robinson. I was actually impressed with Mayfield there. He actually he got through the corner way better. I don't know why off the exit of this corner you just get, like, such a run. That is, like, such a absolutely wonky-ass way to make those two passes, but we made it work. I will take it. Still about five seconds back from leader. I think we gained a tenth from last lap. That's not really the way to go through that corner. But yeah, otherwise, it's it's not scary. It's not too bad. It is getting a little bit tougher. I will say it. I, I'm having a harder time making these passes. It would make more sense because we're going up against faster cars. Thought, again, I thought someone was having smoke or engine failures. I, I don't know why I keep think I'm seeing that. Also, I just like how I effortlessly just make a two-car pass. There were no problem in mid-sentence. Typical. I just do this without even thinking about it. We do get, like, massive runs off this particular corner, as you saw last lap. So, we'll close in on Mark. In fact, we're, I was going to make a cut, but no, Mark's just... We're going to probably pass him here. That, he was going way too slow in that corner, but... We'll pass him here, Possibly. I just never, I'm never going to forget the Thunder, o, Thunder 03 career mode at this track where Dale Jarrett just, like, grip hacks his way around me on the outside. It was one of the most insane things I've ever really seen. And probably the craziest way I've ever really lost a race. That was, it was good times. But yeah, we're just up to third. The leader is actually right there. Some people, some people have already, like, have already pitted, so. I don't know if that's really going to matter for us because they're so far back, but. Yeah, we're pretty much there. That's yeah, it's Tony Stewart, real course extraordinaire. And unfortunately, we're gonna probably be pitting like two laps from now, so we're really not gonna really uh, enjoy that lead for too long. But yeah, we're there. As long as we just the, the picker just don't have a terrible stop, we you know we should for all intents and purposes be fine. As we're already right there by Stewart. I didn't know where it went. He was good. I don't know where he was going, but we're, we made the pass. It was queen. It was slip. Did I say queen? It was clean and swift. Now we just get to cruise and build up this gap until I pit on lap seven. We're gonna pit this lap. Someone's down here with a blown edge, and I, fi I finally foresaw it. But yeah, we're gonna do something a bit different with uh, pitting this time. We're gonna show the whole pit sequence. Because JC wants that really badly. So you know what? We're going to give Baby his bottle. Because you know, sometimes babies need their bottle for growth and development. So we're going to do that when, when that occurs. So we're going to... I hope I hope he's going to... I hope I get like a live reaction, like face cam of it. Where he's just like freaking out, going insane over it. Because th the fans have demanded. And I will, I will give... I will replenish them with this answer. What does that mean? I don't know. All right, pit stop time. Four tires, fuel, the usual. Just don't speed. Perfect. And that's it. All right, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, my God. Look out. Oh my god, it's a 16 second stop. Wow. Shocked emoji face. 
All right, out of pit road, and now we just get to wait and see where the cycle's at, which, I mean, presume obviously should be in the lead. I'm just hoping we win by a big margin to facilitate my big-ass ego. Everyone's down pit road, and we won't even lead that lap, but we are going to cycle into lead pretty easily. And that's pretty much race done right at that point. As long as I don't mess up, this is, this is an easy dub. My flag's out. How big the lead is, I truly have no idea. The emulator is really chugging at this track. I don't know why. I guess it's just a big track. I don't know. But it slows down and then it speeds up and then it kind of messes me up a little bit. So I, I really don't like that. Otherwise, yeah, this is a clean dub. It's going to be a big dub too. I don't know how big of a lead we're going to have, but it's easily over 15 seconds. Also, I know this is going to be another like insane thing I'm going to say because everything I say is insane, but... When I was little and I had like that right side damage on the car, I literally thought the the damage looked like Wiley e. Coyote. Why did I why did seven year old me think that? I don't know, but it always looked like when I got damaged, it looked like Wiley e. Coyote, because like there's a part that looks like it has like his ear and then like the tough the this tuft of his face. I don't know. I just I'm just I'm losing my mind in in real time. And that's a dub. The gap is so big, I don't even know what the interval is. I mean, I'll try to do a burnout, but we don't really have much space for victory lane celebrating at the finish line at a track like this. But that was a very effortless dub. Kind of disgusting how easy it is. I didn't really think it would be when I was beginning to practice, but um, I learned very quickly. And now a carpet matched the drapes, and we got damage on the left side, too. So um, they got a, they got a sister now. Now, the left side damage doesn't look like anything, but the right side does to me, and I don't know why I think that. And no, I don't think I can draw, because the one time I tried drawing something, I got made fun of, so I'm not drawing anything ever again. There goes my drawing aspirations. What is this now, my ninth win of the year? Is it my tenth? I've lost count. This is really starting to kind of disturb me how much we're winning. On default setup, and starting last. I can't make it really any harder unless I just make a setup that's so broken it just, like, won't drive. But, I don't know, we, we did what we needed to do. We build up the point lead. It may go down at Chicagoland. Who knows? Who really knows anymore? I keep saying that, then it doesn't happen. We win by 20 seconds. Jeff Gordon ended up getting 8th, and Shauna Robinson 9th, and Kyle Petty got 10th. Bill Elliott got 3rd? What did... Wow. That's even more crazy. And me and Stewart led the most laps. 5 each. And Dale Jarrett led the other one during pit cycle. So uh, we did good in that regard. We led, we led laps. Jeff Gore doesn't, and we gained points. And most of the results are going to be a little bit different because it is a real course, so results are going to be a bit skewed. Why is Ricky run 31st, or started 20, 31st and finished 26th at Sonoma? I'm offended. Marlon with a horrific finish. Jimmy with a horrific finish. And we only had Kevin Harvey DNF. Well, the point standings are going to look ugly because we're going to gain a lot of points on, like, everyone. So, uh, that's going to be sickening. So, yeah, next up's Daytona. We got a top eight there. Or top eight. I should have just said we finished eighth. And we had a potential of maybe doing a little bit better. But I kind of got stuck in a weird spot where if I backed off to the car behind me, I wouldn't have made up time with the cars in front of me. And the car in front of me was just far enough to where I couldn't get drafts, so it... I don't know. And this is a much shorter race, so we don't really have as much time to get through the field. So I feel like this one's going to be really brutal. So um, I'm a little bit scared by that. But what I'm not scared about is our nice paint scheme that we'll be using that race. So that'll be cool. But point standings. Uh, yep, 300 points over Jeff Gore. Not shocked. Dale Jarrett, 409. 439 to Newman. Uh, Mark 5th. Poor Sterling Marlin now is just 10th. He just fell back, and now Rusty Wallace has fallen back. Bobby Labonte is closed in. Bobby Labonte is now in, in discussions of getting into that top 10, and Benson has just returned to his 13th place points position that he's usually been running for most of this year. And Ricky Rudd's still 17th. And poor Sterling Marlin, I, I, the story of his season just continues to be just as tragic as his real life one, except in this one he's not going to have an injury, but he was in the point battle contention, and then it just like fell apart. I don't know what happened. And now it's just between me and Jeff Gordon. How boring is that? Why can't it be frickin' Sterling Marlin? I don't know. But that's just the reality we're in. And lap champion thing. We're only two away from 
Getting to Rusty, so that's cool. I banged my finger off my desk. I don't know what... Uh, Brian Newman and Jimmy are tied. That's that's cute. And that's really it with Sonoma or Infineon. I, that's just a very weird race. I don't know. We'll just wrap things up. Big shout out my tier 3 Patreon supporters today for our chat 15, Kamikaze Games, Bailey Kerr, Mexi Late 1986, Jason Hellman, and my name is Sean for the support. Again, I appreciate what you guys do for my channel every single month. It does me a lot. It's always really appreciated. So, just thank you as always for the continued support and everything that you guys do. It does mean a lot. I'll see you all next episode for Daytona as we are embarking on closing in on the halfway point of the season. Uh, Daytona, Chicago Land, I mean, Daytona, I don't think I'm going to do very well in, but Chicago Land, I don't think I'm going to do very well either. Then there's New Hampshire, which has always been extremely tough, so I feel like we're going to be going, coming up on a few tracks that we had the potential of losing points, so Jeff Gordon could actually gain on me and maybe make this championship fight a little more interesting. I don't know, but at this point, it's getting quite disturbing because that's 10 wins in 16 races. Uh, two of those were because of lap traffic uh, two or three of those two of them was for like lap traffic or something in it and then the other one was the fuel strat bizarreness at martinsville so like three of our ten i don't feel are totally legit but that that, that doesn't explain the other seven as we we made so much money <laughs> almost four million everyone else is at two that is just I, I guess not surprising when i won that much but Please let someone have a shot at trying to get to me in the points because this is just it's getting ins it's just getting insane. It's gonna be like it's gonna be almost like how Thunder of Two was, except the lead's not like a thousand points, but I don't know. I'm done. I will see you all next episode, video, whatever. See you all later, and as always, have a good day everyone.